We're going to start with writing the null and alternative hypothesis. Now, in my opinion, this is one of the trickiest parts of chapter nine. The null hypothesis, some of the questions are going to have a pre-existing statistic, uh, but the first question we're going to look at does not have a pre-existing statistic. It's just a claim. And this one is 68% of workers uh, indicate they're mildly satisfied with their job. And we're supposed to pick the uh, null and alternative hypotheses. For these questions, if there's no existing condition, we're going to look at where the equality is. So right here, 68%. It's not saying that more or less than 68. It's just equals 68 the null hypothesis always has a quality in it. The alternative never has a quality in it. And that's how we're gonna choose on this first question. So here we have equals, and this one's a percentage, 68%. And the alternative, so this one, the opposite of being 68% is not equaling 68. And we're gonna do exclamation equals 68%. So the ones that are equal to me are a little more straightforward because you just put the one that's equal right into the age zero. So I'm going to regenerate this question a few times. I strongly recommend you do that as well because you need to see the other types. This one, at least 85%. So where's the equality here? At least 85% could mean equal 85% uh, or more. So that means equals 85% goes here but at least 85% is 85% or more. So we're gonna do a greater than or equal to, so I'm gonna put a greater than sign in front, and alternative is the opposite, less than 85%. So we're gonna go a new version. All right, this one is at most. So at most means it could equal 39. <clears throat> Now, at most, not just equals 39, uh, could be 39 or less. That's what at most means. So we're gonna go less than equal 39, opposite, greater than 39. All right, I wanna see, let me regenerate this a few more times. All right, here, perfect, all right. This one says less than 12%. Now you gotta be careful, 12%, if it equals 12%, then uh, it doesn't count here. So less than 12% in this case is less than 12% and it's not equal to, it's only strictly less than, we have to go down here. And this one is a bit tricky. If it was less than or equal to 12%, I would have put that right here with a less than or equal to, but because it's not equal to only less, it goes the alternative. Now the opposite, is greater than or equal to 12%. All right, I'm gonna see if I can get a greater than one so you can see what that looks like. So at most, this one is 80, uh, could equal 80%, so that's gonna go on the null. All right, we did a less than, I wanna do a more than. Here we go, great, more than, all right. So again, I can't put the 58% here because it can't be equal to 58. So more than 58%. So again, you don't know if this is going in the alternative, uh, the null or the alternative until you think about where's the equal sign. So now that I know the equal sign is on the opposite, the equal always goes with the null.